So I had a request to try a horizontal view. I don't know if it's going to work good, but this week is going to be all about trying things out. So um, first of all, if you're watching the replay, hello. Um, give me a little comment to let me know. It's kind of nice for me to know how many people actually watch the replay and how many people are here live. But yeah, you can let me know what you think about the horizontal view. Um, it's probably not great right now because you can't see what I'm doing, but I just wanted to start face to face. The thing I like about the vertical view is I feel like you can actually see me and then you can really see what I'm working on, but I don't know. I used to only like this view and so Anywho, I'm just going to finish, um, actually, so I am going to have to try. Hi, Katie, how are you? Drinking some coffee here. Yeah, so I think um, tomorrow I am planning to do a live journal layout. Actually, now that I think about it, that will be really fun because I hardly ever film journal layouts live. Um, even though when I film them as a video, you still see like the full process, but it can be a little bit different live. And I think that will be really fun. And I'm going to do like a back to school live using some of the things that I'm planning to send in the September Patreon packs. And it's not too late to sign up for that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. And I'm trying to pinpoint, um, a time that I can do these lives every day so there's that okay so I am working on some watercolor tags if you were not on the live yesterday or didn't see yesterday's video I'll show you you know what this workspace is a mess I just hopped on here super quick and I'm gonna go ahead and move some things out of our way so that we can think straight and by moving out of the way, I just mean on the floor, but that's okay. That's okay. And how are you guys today? How are you this morning? Both of my kids are back in school for the, this is the first day that they're both in school and it went different than what I expected. I expected my son to be super nervous cause he's, he's more of the nervous one. And I expected my four-year-old to just be like, I'm ready to go. But it was opposite. My son was like, no, he's like, I'm fine. I was like, do you want me to walk you in? Because, like, I don't want to make him feel weird walking him in. But, like, last year I walked him to his class every single day. But um, he seemed a little confused where he was supposed to go at first. And he's like, no, I'm pretty sure I go to the cafeteria until before school starts. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, if you're there early. I'm like, but I think you need to go to your homeroom <laughs> anyways. I'm sure he figured it out. I can't figure it all out for him, and I know that. But then we just, I walked him up to the front of the school, and then he's like, no, this is fine. And he went in. Oh, you're on your, Letitia, you're on your lunch break, and you're a school teacher. Well, it's kind of exciting to talk with you then. Um, and then my four-year-old, who's been very excited about school, she was kind of uh, she was a bit more nervous today, but she also had a little bit of a rough morning. Um, yeah, she, she got hurt earlier this morning. And so I think that played into it. And then when we got to school, she was happy, but then she was like, mom, she's like, I want to go home with you. And I was like, well, you can't. And so I didn't stay long. I, uh, that's so funny. Um, you can't, oh, you're saying you can't stay long. We'll watch later. Perfect. Well, I'm glad to see you. Anyways, yeah, so got her all settled and I left and her teachers are wonderful, so I'm very excited. Okay, on to crafting though, but oh yeah, I'm gonna pull up the comments. Yes, Letitia, I hope you have a great day at school. You've told me before about being a teacher and I forget what grade you teach, but um, I'm gonna pull up my comments here on this phone. I think it's easier for me to see. Yes, Letitia, oh. I hope you have a great day at school. <laughs> Whoops. And hi, Kelly, also. Oh, thank you for reminding to do a thumbs up. Kelly, I haven't seen you on a live, I don't think, for a little while. So definitely give me some feedback how this time frame is. I'm probably shooting to do my lives more like 11 
Pacific Standard Time most days, but today it just worked out better to hop on right now. Hi, Amy. So I might even have a hard time pinpointing an exact time, but I'm going to try because I think that's going to work better. So anyways, I'm going to bring you guys down a bit. Now with this horizontal view, you can't, you're probably not going to be able to see my face and what I'm doing, but I don't think that's a big deal. Y'all know what I look like. Play around with it eventually I would like yeah this is gonna be a little weird maybe but I think it's okay I think it's okay for experimenting um, if I had a better yeah I know and I um, I have been keeping that in mind Kelly oh so you're saying so you're over there quite a bit yeah so I'm actually definitely keeping that in mind and I'm gonna try to be doing mine around 11 so um, I think that will work good because I do know that we have a lot of the same subscribers and she's been doing that for a while so um, okay all right all right all right So I am going to go ahead and finish watercoloring a couple tags. And I guess I didn't show you since if you weren't here yesterday, these are really simple tags, but they kind of go along with some things that I'm going to show you. And they are these really cute stamped tags. These are not, these were just the ones I was playing around with yesterday, but they're all of these like kind of school vintage prints. And I just dropped the other two. <laughs> Where did you go? Here we go. And so, like a stack of books, and then there is a globe somewhere. Maybe I already showed you that. And I'll probably put some, yeah, this was one I didn't like, so we're, I'm doing it a little bit differently. Oh yeah, comments, that's what I was trying to have up here. And, oh, you teach high school, Leticia, criminal justice, that's cool. Very cool. Hi, Cindy. Oh, funny. Um, you're, you're uploading a watercolor altered recipe card pocket. I love that. But you know what? I feel like as crafters, I think we're on the same wavelength so much when we're doing similar projects like, you know, junk journal, paper crafting. Um, also, yeah, I know you can't exactly, well, let me know. I can try my best to move the view. Obviously on these live videos, you're not always going to be able to get the best view, but I think kind of like the biggest point of doing a live is being interactive. And so you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's not like a tutorial, but I might do some like tutorials or challenges on the lives and I will just set my camera up face down. But anyways, I interrupted myself as I was saying. Um, yeah, I think so often we all have very similar ideas and it's kind of funny because when I first started, I would be like, oh cool, I kind of like invented this idea. And then I'm like, let me search YouTube just to see. And then thousands of other people have thought of the idea too. So I tried to be really careful in the beginning when I would put videos out, I would be careful to try and give credit if it was like a video where I was showing you how to do this like hidden pocket I would try to give credit if someone's already done it or I would just mention like hey I came up with this idea on my own but it's probably out there somewhere else rather than you know trying to take credit for like inventing the idea and then sometimes I would feel bad because I'm like I would have a same thing I would have a video go up on the same day that someone else did and it's almost the same thing actually I, I remember I make I made a um an altered no, um, an expandable like pocket kind of thing. And there was a girl, she doesn't, I don't think she does videos anymore. Her name was Sabrina and she did a lot of um, scrapbooking and I don't know, a lot of really cool paper crafting. I really, really liked her channel. Anyway, she had a similar video, video go up and someone, a few people commented like, hey, you need to give credit to um, her because she made this idea up. And I genuinely had no idea that she had a video that went up. We just thought of the same idea, you know what I mean? So it's just, I've learned that 
that we we are on the same wave, wavelength a lot <laughs> so I am just doing a quick water wash across these tags these are just manila tags I think I actually put the links to most of the supplies I'm using in the description I'm pretty sure and then I'm using this metallic paint which I also have the link for um, and I'm just swiping across and then I'm gonna let these dry and stamp over the top and I think they'll look much more finished when I add some maybe some sorry ribbon I'm not sure do you guys have any recommendations so just in case you didn't know this is going to be kind of a vintage school back to school children's theme so if you can think of anything that would be really fun for the um the what do you call it the the ribbon or twine that i'm going to use let me know maybe i could do like um what's that floss called it's not floss but what am i thinking of i have some like yellow and white striped um twine maybe it's twine why can i think of the word it just seems like it might go along with the theme but also sorry ribbon would be fun Whoops. Hi Brie, how are you? Shoelaces, that's cool, Marianne. Hello, by the way. That would be cool, but I am making like a hundred of these <laughs> and I have to send them through the mail. So I need to have something that would be super flat, but I love that idea if I was just making these like for myself or even for like maybe journals that I was selling. Love that idea, that's really fun. That would be a cool thing to add in your own journal. Okay. You know, ribbon. I don't know how to say that word. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like the zigzag, right? Okay. I was kind of thinking that too, and I was trying to figure out if I had any or if I have a bunch. Let me see. I think that would actually look really cool. I know I have like a little amount, so we can at least try it out. Um, I'm going to come over here really quick. At least you can tell me if I'm thinking if if what I'm thinking of is the right thing. What I'm thinking of is this zigzag. Oh, mine's thick. Well, it might work, but I have more somewhere else and I can look later. But I is this gango? <laughs> it might not be. Ooh, ribbon with ABC stamped on it. You have some good ideas. Ooh, 5.30, so for you, Laurel, it is 5.30 and you are waiting for breakfast. Well, hello, I'm so glad that you're able to make it. I love, um, Mariana, I hope I'm saying your name right. I love the ideas, I love, <gasps> ooh, now you got me thinking. So I have, some stamps I have like some ABC stamps and I actually stamped them on this envelope right up here trying things out and on the back and it might be cool I have a bunch of fabric um, what's it called like that tan colored fabric why can't I think of it it would be cool to maybe do some stamping on little fabric pieces and rip them off like into little squares we can try that in a little bit and use that as like a little embellishment or something <gasps> like that i like that so for these i need something kind of quick and easy um oh i found what i was looking for i was kind of thinking this might not go with the color scheme scheme oh that's cool maddie um stamp out the abcs scan them and print out that's cool too okay Brie have a good day so I have this or I like the gingham too but I guess I can just try some I don't know if I will have enough and then I also just I guess I could just mix it up and use a bunch of different ones muslin thank you yes muslin I was thinking of muslin fabric mm -hmm. okay I still obviously need to stamp these, but I'm just going too fast today. I'm gonna see how this looks. Ooh, 
Ooh, this might look cute. I might have to see about how much I have. I don't want to rip it too much or anything. I think that would be pretty flat in the envelopes too. That's the only frustrating part about, I have to be so creative coming up with things that are pretty darn flat, but that's really cute. But there's a lot of good ideas. I wonder if these are dry enough to stamp on now. I have some that are dry and ready to go and I kind of want to do that. And then what I'm going to do, cause they are, um, they are kind of like warping a little bit, but I'm just going to, once they dry, lay them flat with a really heavy book and they will be just fine. So let me grab all the ones that are dry now. Good morning. Oh, there's two Marianne's in here and hopefully I'm saying both of their na the names right. Ooh, a scribble on ribbon, the way children write before they learn. You have really fun ideas. Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Been looking for ways to incorporate more mixed media in my journals. Fun. Yes, I love mixed media and I don't do it enough. I was almost thinking while these are drying, I was like, ooh, I could finish these off with like some little, um, little like what I'm little why can't I think of the word right now I'm gonna do this some, some little drips I guess I now I have to wait for them to dry even longer but that's okay worth it is it worth it let me work it yeah that's cute um it's hard to see but these are so metallic-y so we got some little drips on there and it's everywhere on my desk, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping on some of these. I think we need to make more room. I think also we might start working on some of these collaged library cards that I made yesterday. I don't know if you guys like to see repetitive things though, like, yeah, I'm not even sure. I know I have to work on a bunch of those and it's going to be very repetitive because it's like the same thing over and over and over, but everyone's going to be a little different, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm just going to put the flat ones out, or the dry, the dry ones, I'm thinking about how I need to flatten them. Then put the finished ones over here. Ink drips, yeah. No channel for you, just lots of ideas. I love that. I only ask because a lot of people have YouTube channels that you know also watch, and it sounds like you have so many ideas. So I wouldn't have been surprised. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and find my ink. Where did you go? I'm using the Versafine Pigment Ink. I did put this one in the uh, description. I love this one. It's great for doing, if you need a waterproof ink. I love making master boards too. I just heard something weird. And I haven't made any for a while. So I'm gonna have to be really careful about stamping since these are kind of curled up and this ink, it is a little messy. And like, I just got a little on my finger and it will make smudges. So you just have to be pretty careful. So I think I'm gonna stamp these in the center. And tomorrow when I do a layout, I will show you how I would use a watercolor tag in my journal. I mean, obviously you can always just use things as a decoration, but I like to use a lot of my stuff like in a more functional way. I don't know how to explain that. Sometimes I'll do creative layouts, but for my own actual personal journaling, I like everything to have like something sustenance. <laughs> I don't really know. Oh, that one didn't. Okay, I need to make sure I have enough ink on there. I don't think it's the paint that made it do that. It just kind of went, it stamped unevenly. Yeah, that's better. So let me show you here. This one like didn't stamp too evenly. It's still usable, but. Okay. 
I'm just gonna do a few of these pencils in the baskets and I'll show you closer up after I finish a few and then we'll switch stamps. them under a heavy book to flatten the yeah Rebecca that's yeah I am gonna do that once they all dry I could and I could have done it before that might have made sense but yeah no that would mean I need to plan in advance <laughs> so I'm just gonna be careful about they're not too warped where I can't be stamping on them right now I just need to make sure to press down really good okay I'm gonna switch the stamps just so I can use a little of each one today. We got an apple, but I just like these stamps from Tim Holtz because it's not just like an apple. Apple. I don't know why I had an accent there. It's not just an apple. It like has all this fun like measuring around it. it just gives it kind of a different vibe. A lot of you are here this morning. I'm so glad. Okay. This one's pretty warped. So if you watch my lives regularly, can you let me know what do you, do you prefer the vertical view or do you like this horizontal view? I'm just trying it since someone recommended or um, requested that I do horizontal because they said they watch my lives on their TV and that you can see it much better um, when it's this, when it's horizontal. So I thought I would try it out and you guys can give me feedback I'm not sure what I like, to be quite honest. I, I just want you to have the best view. And the only thing is, is that you just can't really see my face when it's like this, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. My only thing is I just want to be able to see the comments. Yeah, I think it does. I think you're right. It depends on what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna switch and I'll hold a couple of these up in a minute so you can see them better. Yeah, like, see, I'm in the future, if I'm doing a lot of stuff on my table, I could have you guys like be wait, just over what I'm doing so that you just see my hands and what I'm doing. But I feel like if I'm gonna do that personally, then I feel like I might as well just film a regular video. I just feel like it's less person personal when I want you to see kind of like my whole space and I want to be able to yeah see the comments really well and whatnot horizontal for you oh yeah see I do feel like it's a bigger view or it definitely is it's not it's not that I feel it's it is. okay I'm gonna move some of these but these I like these they are cute here's kind of like a finished one I guess and my idea is that you can do some journaling on the back or you could embellish them even more yourself. Like kind of like this is a starting point. I'll show you one of each of the print or the stamps here. And I hope you can tell how metallic the ink is. It's just really fun. So we have the pencil basket, the books, and the globe. Okay, let's move these up here. And I'll do a few more. I feel like I'm taking forever to move these around. Amy, you don't have a preference? Okay, well, good. It's helpful to know. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's do some more. We'll do some books. 
And I'm gonna let these lay flat with a book over them before I put the twine or ribbon, whatever. You guys gave me a bunch of really great ideas. Okay. Let me know, do you guys have a favorite stamp? There is, there's books, a globe, pencil, and an apple. I guess it probably depends what you're working on, but. Okay. Let's see, what's my favorite stamp? I guess it would, I don't know, they're all so cute. I like the books a lot, because I feel like the books could be kind of a school vibe, but they could also be representing journals. a cute set when I was I was looking for some stamps and they were just all so cheesy I was gonna go with like maybe a schoolhouse but I was like well not everyone like has kids in school so this isn't really back to school season for everyone so I wanted something a little less um, specific and I felt like all of these things like even the apple could work even as just a cute little image, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, school, but okay, there we go. Books and the globe. Yeah, the books are really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here. I think that might be all of the inking that I do for right now. going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and I am going to be getting back to working on the French document journals but now I'm in patreon mode so I'm back to doing this until I get my patreon packs all done and then I will be back to French document journal mode and when I get back to that I'm going to be at the point where I'm finishing the journals so you guys will kind of get to see the whole process. Okay, I'm just gonna move these. In fact, I'm gonna take the twine out of this one and then I can just lay them flat right now. Let's see, there's a message, oh. Oh, that's okay. Hello, Secret Garden. The book stamp looks really cool in the metallic and it's more versatile. Yeah, I do. I think so too. I'll probably end up stamping more of the books, but I still want it to be everyone like it's something or I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's lay these flat now underneath something heavy. I really do need to organize my area here. Uh, okay, let's get a little vote. <laughs> Since I've already been working on the library cards yesterday, even though I still need to work on them a bunch, let me know, should we work on some collage library cards or these little embellished tags? And I gotta figure out what, actually what I need to figure out, hello? Um, is what I'm going to put on these tags because I'm definitely not going to be cutting out a little apple die cut for each of these. Huh. I was actually trying to look for some little stickers. Maybe instead of having like a focal image, embellished tags, maybe instead of having like a little image, Maddie, you're really, really good at making like little snippets, um, that are just kind of like a plain snippet and don't have like a focal point. So maybe you guys can help me through that because I think also, since I'm giving these to people that might not have, like I said, kids in school or whatever, I don't want everything in these little packs to be super like school related. I just want them to all kind of go together. So maybe we work on something a little bit more generic. Oh, I have 
tags. Okay, it seems like y'all are saying tags. And I'll bring you in closer in just a sec. I'm just gonna put a few out. And then this will probably be the last thing that we work on today. Um, I'm trying to make the most of my days. So let's see, how long have we been on here? 30 minutes, okay. Yeah, so probably between 30 minutes to an hour is how long I'll come on the lives every day. I'm just gonna lay some of these out and then we'll get some fabrics and laces to kind of pile on. And I like all the different colors. I got these from Madeline's shop. I know I mentioned her, I, I'll mention again just because sometimes I have new people in here, but I, I mentioned because she does have a 15% off code for Paper Terrace and Maddie, if you have these in your shop, you could post the link if you don't mind. <laughs> Just since we're on subject. Because I was going to buy some of these on Amazon and I didn't want 2,000 of them. Maybe, okay, so Leah, yeah, let's read what we got going on. Oh, that's not so good. Um, let's see if I can bring you down a bit. Ooh, okay, I think this is getting better. How about that? Let me get a little beverage of, I was going to say, let me get a beverage of coffee. Yeah, let me get a little sip of coffee. Hmm. My child isn't in school yet, but I still enjoy the school theme. Oh, good, Katie. That's great feedback. How old is your little one? Yeah, and I feel like this could be cute even for just like this time of year, but that's why like I said I want some of these things to be more generic or general, I should say. Okay, someone had an idea for what I should use. So do I, Amy. <laughs> okay, four. Uh, so my daughter is four, but she's going to be five. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait a minute. She's going to be five in how many days? Oh my, I forgot that I wanted to decorate today. She's going to be five in six days. Oh no, I wanted to decorate today for like her school or for her birthday week. Maybe I'll do that before she gets home. I know it's silly. Okay, I, I gotta get back on tra track. Maybe some solid wallpaper and leaf ribbon. Oh, what a good idea. The leaf ribbon I think will be really great. Okay, wallpaper. And ooh, since I kind of am obsessed with this paper, also, this is from the Dollar Tree. Can you, it's like the penmanship or like the writing paper. I don't know. Maybe I'll layer on a little bit of that with that. And I'll get some wallpaper. Let's see here. Ooh, actually, I have some embossed. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, I'm gonna grab some. I love textures, so I'm gonna grab if I know. So we're at a little bit of a weird view now. You can let me know if that is awful. I was just trying to get you to see since these are little, but I have embossed paper. Um, okay, let's just get started, I suppose. Oh no, the postage is awful for you because you are not. Um, are you in the UK? I'm sorry, I forget. I know you're one of my international members. I kind of forgot for a minute. UK? Yeah, that's a bummer. And it's so silly because these are so small. Okay, I'm just going to start by, let's see, where's the one that I had already done? Did you guys see where I put that? Oh, well, because we're not going to use that same formula anyways. I also still have to pinpoint what my main, so, okay, let me explain it. So in my Patreon packs every month, I have like one main item and that's what everyone gets except for the dandelion tier. Um, and then I kind of add on from there. So I still have to pinpoint which things are going to which tier. Um, and I always try to think of the main thing like that you could use it on your own or you could use it on its own to be kind of like, do you get what I'm saying? I'm thinking this should be like the main item because I feel like, and then it would have the library tag too. 
but let me know. I was also working on, I'll get it back on track in just a sec. I just like your feedback. I was also working on, but I might not be doing these, some little collaged envelopes. I like them, but I'm not in love with them. And I could do different collaging, but I'm feeling like I really like the library card and pocket. And I just like the little images on there. And again, I think anyone could probably use this, but let me know what, if you guys have an idea for what the main item should be. Cause we have the watercolor tags, these little tags. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna start layering on some papers. Um, New Zealand, okay, I couldn't remember for a minute. Just gonna layer on some papers. Ooh, I think these ones will actually be perfect with this twine. Yeah, international shipping is, is not cool. Yeah, I'm always surprised with international shipping. Like if I want to ship a journal, it's usually always $23 from what I remember. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm pretty sure $23. And if I was shipping like a journal pack that's heavier than an ounce, then I think it was like $14 or something. It's silly. Okay, I'm just starting out with some little layers here. Um, we'll do some wallpaper, some embossed wallpaper. I'm just gonna do a few of these to start to make sure that I like that. I think the leaf ribbon will be really cute. And I'm gonna put, I think I'll put that on like the very top. Cause obviously I want you to see all of these layers. Okay. I'm just gonna lay a piece of this wallpaper on each one and I'll kind of finalize how I have them layered when I I'm gonna staple them on, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea, Rebecca. I do that with a lot of shops too, honestly. Or, or I'll wait until I need a few things. Oh gosh, I feel like I need to write down not to forget to decorate for Arlo's birthday week. <laughs> And I know that might be silly, but I always do birthday weeks and I just want it decorated. Like I'm not gonna give her presents or anything yet, but I just can't help it. I just love to spoil my babes. Okay, I feel like before I add the leaf trim, I sort of feel like maybe a piece of lace. And I have like, a, oh, actually, if I could find some more of that gingham. No, actually, I don't think that's gonna go because we, okay, no, no, no. I'm just gonna try some little lace bits. Maybe have it be a little long so it's kind of like hanging off. We'll just try it. probably just do this little batch with you guys um, because then it's going to be easier for me just to do off camera so because it's just so repetitive and I like to have some music playing while I'm doing stuff like this. Okay, so I'll sh show you better in a sec. I kind of want like the words to show on these tags. Kind of tricky to get this leaf there we go and i'm gonna do a staple because i think that kind of goes along with it just probably a couple would be fine okay let me 
need to poke a little hole so I can put some twine on these. Let me just finish one completely here. These would be cute as little tabs on the side of your journal page too, or on a flap of an envelope, I think. So I'll probably put this twine on them, but I could almost keep it blank too. I guess it's gonna depend on which tier I include this in. I'm not really sure, but I think these are cute. Whoops, is that, why, it will never focus like on the little thing, or I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I think I like it with the lace. So let's just try a couple more and see what we think. Oh, you're visiting your son in Indiana for Christmas. So we'll get a few things shipped there. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. And that sounds fun too. This is a little piece of the... I'm trying to make everything lay just right so that you can kind of see a little bit of everything. I'm trying to decide if I think this is enough layers or if I should add more. But I think... Sometimes less is more, you know what I mean? Um, I need no more staples now. And I am getting hungry. I am getting hungry, ready for some food. Okay. okay, so let me know what you guys think here. And again, if if you're here live or if you're watching the replay, I would love your feedback, what you think I should have as like the main item for these packs. Because um, for instance, my Lily, Lily's Patreon member, me, wow, members will get like the main item and then Probably one of the, like, probably one of the watercolor tags, I think, will be, like, the second little item. So, watercolor tag, and I'm leaning towards the library pocket and tag, or card, sorry, my words. I think I'm getting very hungry. But, okay, so, these are really cute. I like these. I think they have enough layers, and I, it's not focusing very well, so I don't know if you can see, but... I do have some lace behind the leaf and in real life, like this is embossed. So I feel like that adds something. These are super cute. I like these a lot. So I think I'm gonna just finish off there because again, this is just gonna be repetitive and I gotta fit a lot into my day. But tomorrow I have physical therapy. So I'm gonna have to figure out what time I'll come on alive tomorrow, but then after that, hopefully I'll be able to be coming at a regular time, which hopefully will be closer to 11 Pacific Standard Time, which is what time it is now. Yeah, these are cute. Like, do I want to add more layers? I just don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, well... Like I said, I think I'm gonna stop here so I can just continue making these same thing over and over and over. But it was super fun hanging out with you. I'll give you my face right here. Um, and I will be back tomorrow. So thank you for hanging out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.